Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here and I'm just going to do a collective reading for everyone. Um, so take what resonates, leave the rest, um, vice versa. Um, just a quick channeled message last night. I did a lot of um, saging in the house. Um, I'm going to go and get some other stuff today. Palo Santo and um, just some other herbs like and oils to do some clearing in my house. And I think it's really important that you guys do it as well. Um, lots of reasons for that. Um, energy, vampires, energy is real. Energy, energy harvesting is real. Um, you know, when you're watching tarot readings, you know, it's a divination tool. And, you know, not everyone's of a high vibration. So even watching some channels, um, you can attach entities and stuff. So a lot of... Um, salt down drains clearing the house so just protect yourself everyone i think the message is about spiritually protecting yourself if things aren't going right like i still can't upload on my youtube channel my camera's not working now um there's lots of things going on that just aren't normal and you know i think there's a message in there that things might be being sent to people to block abundance block forward movement so just do some clearing guys if you can light some candles do some cord cutting okay but anyway collective message for everyone what do we need to know what do we need to know top of the deck take back your power really interesting collective message for everyone all the ear signs Six of Cups reverse, so something maybe from the past might be revisiting you. Um, this could be why um, there's a lot of sort of things going on in the atmosphere. As I said, talking about spiritual cleansing, if you're dealing with someone who's quite karmic, they could be thinking about you, they could be um, having nostalgia, but in um, a warped sense, I get a feeling like a um, sort of almost psychosis, sort of you know psychotic I don't know I just get an energy of yeah six of cups you know nostalgia children reversed someone might want to try and come back and it might not be what you want bottom of the deck ten of cups reversed so definitely that emotion a lot of emotions something's not working out for someone and they might be thinking about the past where the past might have been quite good and it, ever since the past Maybe they left the past behind and everything's been shit since. Page of Cups, another water sign energy, um, an offer coming in. So maybe someone from the past might come in and uh, give you an apology, make an offer to you. It's a small cup. It's a page, you know, not really probably worth what they're going to offer you. There we go. Page of Pentacles, another small offer. Maybe money, maybe child support's owed with the Six of Cups. Maybe they might try and offer you some money. But they're sort of, you know, these two are together, but they're not facing each other. So really it's almost like it's a, it's a false offer. It's a fake offer. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. So there's lots of offers and of a lot of offers coming in, I think, and a lot of messages coming in and... Mm. No one's facing each other though. If you know, you know, like if you guys can see, sorry, because I can't upload. No one's facing each other, so it's almost like um, no one knows what's going on. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, yeah, I almost feel like something's happening and someone's doing something. But no one knows about it. Something's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Four of Cups. More water sign energy. That emotional. This is sort of like depression. See how you see the three cups. And you get the three messages or offers here. The page of cups. The page of pentacles. The knight of pentacles. Three. Three offers there. Three. And then you've got one here. 
Someone's not seeing what's really going on. It's smoke and mirrors. There's an illusion happening here. Uh, an illusion of stability, an illusion of, of wealth or money or offers that can come to fruition when it's actually not. Oh, there we go. That's why the Emperor Reverse could be dealing with an Aries, but an Emperor Reversed is a father figure, someone in authority, a grandfather, and a boyfriend, a husband, an ex-partner, um, alive or deceased, but narcissistic, sociopathic energy. Do you have a narcissist from the past that fucked up and might want to come back? Someone fucked up. Someone's really stressed. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. How many wands? How many people are they trying to fight off? Is that the karmic partner, the mum, the sister, the bank, the liquidators, the ex-wife, the children? the work, the lies, you know, someone's, someone can't cope, and this is why the Four of Cups here, there's emotional, you know, instability, um, Three of Cups, more water sign, emotional energy, someone's over drinking, over indulging, over partying, you know, um, someone's not coping, the party's over, the party's over for someone, Queen of Wands reverse, that's that fire sign energy, is, you know, the Emperor obviously is a male energy, this is a female, but, you know, is this a karmic partner for someone? Is she pissed as well? Did she get trapped in an illusion and a false sense of reality? Is this who you are now? Have you turned into this? Is this who's attacking you, a female energy? Bitch fucking bitch two nines nine of swords nine of wands it's reversed like you know there's been sleepless nights there's been fucking nightmares bad dreams stress anxiety the party's over block communication so hopefully this means protection and order to stop this person coming back and talking shit to you again from the past. Block commu if, if communication isn't blocked, it will be delayed. It should be blocked. You need to block this person, especially when you've taken 10 steps forward. They want you to take 10 steps back. A couple more. Yeah. Page of swords. But they'll reverse it. You know, three pages here. They're watching anyway. So they, they, they're watching what you're doing trying to hatch a plan to see how can they get back into your good graces because they want to do this to you again. This is a common theme though, isn't it? Someone from the past wanting to come back and stab you in the back again. There's another offer coming in for you that's more stable, that's of value, that you should, you know consider taking do your research don't rush into anything um, but there will be another offer coming in for you could be a, a move to a new job which actually might be quite good especially if this person knows where you work moving to a new job could actually be quite a blessing for you so they don't know what you're doing um yeah eight of uh, cups more emotional anyway someone's emotionally not very stable at the moment and that is understandable because of what's been happening in the world covid narcissistic abuse within families within our governments within our you know health organizations there's narcissistic abuse there's gaslighting everywhere um this is why you've got so many cups too it's that emotional gaslighting of everyone but someone needs to walk away from it because mm. it's an illusion it's an illusion all of it's just an illusion this is the con artist card don't even want to go further queen of cups reverse emotional instability this could be the karmic again two queens reversed bitch <laughs> bitch sending bad vibes bad juju pe to people um toxic trying to stop people from thriving trying to block people's channels trying to block people's um ability to make money trying to block people's love coming in jealous um demonic Don't even need to see that. 
someone's emotionally not stable um their their home life in there is um on the rocks the grass wasn't greener the grass wasn't fucking greener so they want to come back and cause some more chaos for you because you moved away damn so remember vice versa you could be the person wanting to come back from the past because you made a decision that actually ended up being the wrong decision to make and that's why you don't rush into things that's why the universe gives us red flags to protect us from making mistakes but we still do it because we don't always listen until we you know have a dark night of the soul and we have to fucking listen we have to listen narcissists are everywhere they're in our homes they're in our community they're in our government they're in our hospitals you know they're in our schools <laughs> So be mindful of that. You know, be mindful of that. So I just will do an oracle for fire signs. An angel message. Fire signs, what do you need to know? Hello to heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of the worries and feel their love and blessing. So, you know, there's ancestors looking after you, giving you messages. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. They are safe. They are probably in a better place than people on this planet are, you know. Air signs are curiously but Gemini. Curiously but Gemini. Prosperity. Wow. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. This is so exciting. Money's coming in. So remember, there is a stable offer that probably is coming in for you. New job, maybe some kind of movement. And opportunities coming in prosperity look at the gold wow water signs cancer scorpio pisces water signs courage be courageous and stand up for your beliefs people don't want people to stand up for their beliefs because they don't want the truth coming out you know sorry i dropped a card courage under fire and then this other one is sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. I mean, how many cups are in this spread? Water signs. Emotions everywhere. You know, this just, yeah. I'm feeling the energy of people sending stuff. You know, our thoughts can become reality. So, you know, eat. You know, even if we're thinking them, we need to be really mindful of what we're what we're doing because of what we're sending out to the universe. Because one, it can come back to us if it's low vibrational. Two, it can affect people. So you know, be mindful and try and protect yourself, guys. Um, earth signs, earth signs. What do you need to know? Earth signs. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know what to do. There needs to be some protection, guys. There really needs to be some protection. You know, some Reiki, some protection of your home, you know. Just some candle work. I really feel, you know, if you're watching tarot, um, you're spiritual. And, yeah, I think we need to clear our altars and, or create an altar. We need to clear our energy, clear our spaces and... and yeah, have salt baths and, and just try and remove other people's energy. Like if you're in a home and you still have um, furniture or clothing or um, possessions of someone else that was low vibrational, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get it out of your house because their energy lingers. You know, I've done a lot of clearing and sold stuff and given stuff away that relate to a dangerously toxic um, relationship I had with a, a sociopath. And, you know, it does make a difference to who you are once you clear that shit out. So basically, guys, the grass wasn't fucking greener and someone from the past might may try and come back um, only because they've got no other options and they think that you're um, an easy target. So don't be an easy target. 